Hi guys and welcome back to Blues Focus TV. Now last time out we played against Coventry and I didn't give a preview for that as I was away on holiday but I'm back now and I'm here to give you my thoughts on our upcoming away fixture against Sheffield United. Now this is going to be a tough one. I don't need to explain about Sheffield United. You know they're flying top of the league. They're going to be a very very difficult team to do much against. But before we get into the analysis, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any more Blues related content. Also, head over to my channel if you like this content. You might like what's over there. Bit of football content, little bit of gaming every now and then. JC Football, link in the description. Without further ado, let's get in to the opposition. And Sheffield United, top of the league, they've won four in a row without conceding, and they've unbeaten in nine. So they are a very difficult team to do anything against. They did win their last game 2-0 against Preston, obviously a team that we beat and a team that hadn't conceded a goal for a long time. Sheffield United put two past them, and they are in imperious form. The only hope we've got is that an international break might have broken up their rhythm and we might be able to catch them by surprise. It's going to be tough. They're such a good side. They've got so many good players. Sander Berger, how on earth have they still got their hands on him? I'm not sure. He did well for them. Well, he's done well for them every season he's played for them. I'm surprised that Premier League clubs haven't came calling. Maybe if they don't go up this season... He'll get that move to the Premier League, but he is a very good player. And they've got so many of them. They've probably got, you know, one of the best sides in the division. Definitely top three sides in the division. And they're, they're putting the pieces together early. They're doing very well. And it's going to be a tough game. That's it for Sheffield United. Let's move on to the Blues. And Blues... We're in a good bit of form ourselves, to be honest. Now, it's nothing like Sheffield United's, but I'm beaten in three. First of those was that 1-0 win against Preston, where we were the first team to score against them and the first team to beat them. Very good. Then we won 3-2 away against West Brom. What a game. Hogan with a hat-trick. It, it was perfect, and we haven't won there for so, so long. We beat them at home last season in the last game as well, so we're starting to do better against West Brom now. Brilliant three points again, six points on the board there. And then Coventry up next. Now, bottom of the league, so you'd expect us to beat them, but I kind of expected us to lose because typical Blues would be, you know, go and surprise people, win two difficult games in a row, and then lose to the, you know, the team at the bottom of the league. But, you know, we had chances, it was pretty even, we ended up with a point, which is not something I was confident we'd get, to be honest, you know, a nil-nil draw, I'll definitely take, because normally, after such good performances, we'd fold, we'd lose, and the fan base would erupt, rightly so, but we got a point, so seven points out of those three games is very, very good. Now, Mark Roberts won't be fit for this game. I'm not going to say that's going to make us better, but it could, because I've got more faith in Sanderson and Trusty, to be honest. Mark Roberts has been struggling. He has the occasional game where he's brilliant, but he's the one that seems to be prone to a mistake every now and again, and it always seems to cost us. Other than that, I think everyone's fit, you know, everyone that's been playing regularly, I think they're all fit. So, you know, we're going to have a good crack here. We're going to have pretty much a full squad. And I'm interested to see if we can, you know, really progress. But it is kind of a free hit, you know, you'd expect us to lose. Can we go and get something positive out of the game? We'll have to wait and see. That's it for Blues. Let's move on to the head-to-head. -head. And in the head-to-head, -head, you might be surprised. Over the last six fixtures, we've won two, drawn three, and lost one. So actually done better than Sheffield United have. 
However, every game that's been won has been, you know, a one goal margin, and then there's plenty of draws in there. So it's tight, tight games against Sheffield United. Here, I'd be stupid to back a Blues win. I think that would be crazy. Now that I've said that, it'll probably happen. But I can't go for a Blues win. And I've just got to go based on what Sheffield United are currently doing, which is being a very good football inside that are consistently picking up maximum points. So I've got to go for it. I hate to be that person, but I think we're doing we're doing well currently. And again, it's a free hit. If we get something out of it, it's a bonus. But for me, I'm going to go Sheffield United to win 2-1. So, those are my predictions for this upcoming fixture away against Sheffield United. Tough fixture. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments what your score predictions are. Do you think we can get any points out of it? I'd be interested to know your reasons why. Maybe it's, you know, we're catching them at a good time because an international break's just been. We could catch them off guard. Who knows? Make sure to hit the like button. Let's try and get 15 likes on this video. Hit the subscribe button if you're new and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more blues related content. Head over to my channel as well, link in the description, JC Football. If you enjoy what you see, make sure to hit subscribe. Recently hit the 150 subscriber mark, so I'm you know, trying to push for 200 as quickly as possible. Let's see if we can get there soon. Appreciate all the help and everything on the Blues Focus channel is you know, going great at the moment. So really appreciate everyone's support, getting in the comments, liking the video. Really appreciate it all, so thank you very much, and up the blues.